Question number 26. A man projects a coin upwards from the gate of a train moving on a straight track with uniform velocity. The path of the coin from a man standing on the ground. Now, from the moving train, this was the train which was moving this direction, let's say. And from here, is throwing the stone into the air like this one. And to this ground observer, this path will be the parabola, and you know. So the option is a horizontal straight line, a parabola, or inclined straight line. The answer is parabola. It's coming under the gravity and it was given certain velocity into the air. So answer to this question is option number three. The question number 27. The range of a particle when launched at angle 15 degree with the horizontal is 1.5 kilometer. The range of the projectile when launched at an angle of 45 degree to the horizontal will be. Now, dear student, the formula for the range is equal to u square sine of 2 theta divided by g. In first case, angle is 15 degree. So, r which is equal to 1.5 kilometer is equal to u square sine of 2 into 15 degree divided by g. Where in the second case, this would be the range which is equal to u square sine of 2 into 45 divided by g is given that u is same. So if we divide r1 divided by 1.5 kilometer is equal to sine of 90 degree divided by sine of 30 degree. And this is 1 and this is 1 by 2. So it's 2. R1 will be equal to 1.5 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 3 kilometer. And look at the option. Second option is 3 kilometer. So answer is 2. So let's move to the next question. Question number 28 says a projectile reaches its highest point when it has covered exactly one half of its horizontal range. The corresponding point on the trajectory of the projectile has positive slope, zero velocity, second negative slope, zero velocity, third is zero slope and positive velocity, last is zero slope and zero velocity. Now, dear student, we are launching projectile from here and at the highest point, you know that it has only one component of velocity, u cos theta, if it, this is u and this is theta. This distance is r by 2. Now, at this point, the projectile is moving horizontally. The slope is 0, whereas the velocity is in this direction. So, it's positive. Therefore, 0 slope and positive velocity. Answer to this question is the third option. Question number 29. A gun is aimed at a target in a line of its barrel. The target is released and allowed to fall under gravity at the same instant the gun is fired. The bullet will, the target is in the range of the bullet. Now dear student, from here, we will aim the gun toward the target. This is the target. Now as soon as this bullet is fired, the target is stopped. So this body is coming down. And in t time, in time of t second, this will cover the horizontal distance x, but vertically the projectile will go like this one. And if u the initial speed and theta the angle of projection, this was the target, then from the geometry h by x is equal to tan theta, therefore h is equal to x into tan of theta. And you know, after covering a horizontal distance x, this is y. And the relation for y is equal to x tan theta minus half gt square. I filled in first, not in second. I take t second to this point. So, if this is x tan theta minus half gt square and this total is x tan theta, so this is equal to half gt square. So, from here, the projectile as it reaches this point is down by half gt square whereas this target particle in t second is also at the same point because free fall the distance is half gt square so it will hit it so option is hit the target 
answer is 3 to this question. Question number 30. A car travels 8 km along east, 15 km along north and then 15 to 2 km towards southwest. The displacement of the car from the starting point. Now, this was the starting point. 8 km east. Like from here, then it's moving 15 km north. And in the third case, 15 to 2 km southwest. If it is north, this is east. This is south and this is west and the third displacement is 15 to 2 km angle is 45 degree. This is south and this is west. Now three displacement will give the resultant S1 plus S2 plus S3. If I pick up this is I and this is J then you see this displacement is of i. This displacement is 15 of j and the third displacement will take the components. 15 root 2 and cos 45 this comes to be 15 and 15 root 2 sine this comes to be 15. So third displacement is minus 15 i and this is minus 15 j and you look this cancel out. So 8 minus 15 is minus 17 i. So net displacement is minus 7 of best and in value this is equal to 7 kilometer. So answer to this question is first option.